the beauty of the joy formula is that I didn't come up with the joy formula at all. It, it actually came out of a conversation that we were having. Mm -hmm. And um, and Lindsay up in our Minneapolis office, mm -hmm. she was mm -hmm. our design leader at the time. Mm -hmm. And we were we had just finished a uh, um, a conference where they had they had, had a bunch of different speakers. So our our brains were going and we're firing yeah. and yeah. We're really yeah. creative yeah. and and we were talking about all right, well, what's our next year goal going to be and how are what does that look like and you know, I'm coming from like push, push, push. So I'm saying, all right, well, I think we should be, you know, we should be shooting for a $20 million revenue number. Um, and that's, you know, X amount of clients, 200, you know, 200 projects. Um, and then I'm like, well, maybe, maybe we could to make it more palatable. And again, this is more of that pusher side of me and, and kind of to make it more palatable, maybe we could talk about, um, you know, transforming 200 people's lives, right? But in all honesty, I'm just really being kind of a driver, a type like pushing for this thing because mm -hmm. I'm still trying to like prove that I, I'm good enough or something, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Like, you yeah, know, like, follow that. Yeah. like I, I just, I want a bigger company and that way I can feel better about myself. And, mm -hmm. and I don't mean to sound like complete, like, completely crass about it but that, that was the part of me that was doing that mm -hmm. right? that's the right. ego yep. yep yep and that that ego is still there but but that that was the ego but i was yeah, starting I to recognize that ego like i was really starting to become familiar with that ego yeah, and understand yeah, yeah. and so Lindsay goes she goes you know i i don't want to go back to my design team and tell them that hey great job this year so next year we want everyone to produce 20 percent more Mm -hmm. And I just stopped in my tracks. Five years earlier, I would have been pissed. I'm like, hey, you are my sales mm -hmm. lead and you're telling me <laughs> yes. you want to grow sales? Yeah, yeah. And I just held my tongue. And she went on and she said, I want to bring more joy to the team. Mm -hmm. And I saw everybody on the leadership, their heads were, were nodding. Yeah. And so I quickly looked up and I found this definition of joy, which to this day, I haven't been able to find again. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. But I looked up and, and it, bam, was right there. Joy is present when one experiences success and well-being. Uh-huh. And I had a, my mind was just racing because I'm going back and forth. It's like the devil and the angel, right? Like going, you know, on each each of my shoulders. Right, and right. I've got I got the, you know, I got one side of me that says, "Hey, you're running a business. It's all about numbers. You got to push sure, this sure, thing sure, forward." Sure, sure. And then I've got I got Lindsay over here in the human form of this angel saying, mm -hmm. "Now it's about joy." It's about people's success and well-being. It's about helping people maximize their joy. Mm -hmm. And something happened where I just said, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for this. Let's, you know, and, and, and in that moment, I knew that we were all in. 